Okay, I want to show you, uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to use Active Engage and make sure that you can set up and poll your students. So once you have your Active Inspire up and you've created a question, you can first you need to log the students in so they can answer it. So the easiest way, click this button, click here in the middle of it, you'll see this little settings wheel. We click into the settings and then we want the little clipboard. So you can go ahead and follow along and pause the video if you need to. Once you do that, you should see it come up. Now we need to say you might have some other things here, but you want to find, find the one that looks like Active Engage. Click on it. You'll probably have the students that you had in last time already there. Um, if you, this is the first time you've ever done it, there might be nobody there. Click Remove All. Yes, we do want to get rid of them because we have a new class, so click Yes. And now we want to go ahead and register the students. So we're going to go ahead and click register. You can type in um, either the exact number, or I often just do more students that I have in the class. You can allow them to put their name in by clicking allow them to change their name. I usually ask the students to go ahead and do their last initial space first name, and then just click next. So students, go ahead and log in. The students will get a code that shows right here. This is what they put in on their device. My students today are using iPads, but there's many different devices that work with Active Engage. And as they actually log in, you'll see their name actually start to show up. And once you get all the students in, then you can um, go ahead and click Finish. All the students are in, we click Finish, and now we're done. So we now have the students in and ready to go. If you've prepared some questions ahead of time like I have, we can go ahead. First we need to get rid of this guy so we can get to the prepared question that I typed in earlier. I'll show how to do that in another lesson. And then you click play to send out the question. And so when I hit play I can see each of the students. They'll get a second to answer. They can think about it. As they actually answer it, their um, name will be highlighted in yellow. And as soon as all the students answer, I can see the results. So the result that I put as the correct answer shows up in green. So I can see in this class, you know, 66% are getting it correct. But I can see that uh, one student, you know, is having a little trouble. Um, I can use that data either right now if I wanted to, or oftentimes I'll pause the screen so the students don't get to see it and look at it on my computer. But if you click this bar up top, you can see who answered what. And I can see really clearly that Oops, Sammy's having trouble with this, this question, and I should you know, give him a little more help maybe now, maybe after we're done with this. Um, when I'm done with that question, I can go on to the, the next ones. When I'm totally done with any questions that I'm going to ask, I can download the results to see who is really having trouble. There's one other really powerful way to ask questions as well. Let's say in the discussion, some uh, student says something, you're like, hmm, let's see if the, the class agrees. We can, by clicking on the little question wheel, I can just ask a question on the fly, even if I didn't have it um, typed in already. So if I was using the internet or watching a movie or something else, and I had students logged into Active Engage, I could ask them a question on anything. So there's different types of questions. You can play with this a little bit. I'm going to ask them a, just a yes or no question. And they could go ahead and say, you know, is E, if a force was acting in this direction, um, would the ball turn? And they could decide, you know, yes, the ball is going to turn, or no, the ball is not going to turn. If a, a force was acting right here on the ball, I can give the second students a second to go ahead and answer, and let's see what they think. Is it going to turn? Yes or no? And they said, no, it's not. So you can see, we can see it's a really quick and easy way to figure out what does the class understand, um, and that lets me design my instruction to help meet the whole class's uh, needs as well as individual students. Thanks a lot.